what the headlines are in Nigeria. And I have with me in the studio to uh, look at this. Dr. Juan John is here, as well as Dr. Dio Kaede. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. And thank God it's Monday. <laughs> yeah. Good well, morning. Have you forgotten that archaeologically, Civilization started from Egypt. From Egypt, yeah. I totally yeah. agree. Uh -huh. so, so, I, so, so are they I'm ripping, not, I'm not are really they ripping the benefit of... Uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. let's begin with Daily Times. Daily Times is talking about 2023, and it said Northern elders give conditions for presidential aspirants and says the North will stand together to elect only persons who meet its interests. And uh, no politician should assume they are entitled to our support. Unless, okay, that's all those are just uh, uh, issues here and there in politics. From Daily Times, let's go to News Direct. And it's <coughs> focusing on insecurity. Presidency declares Northern Elders Forum Paper Tigers as group attacks uh, Buhari. Okay, uh, that's on security there. From there, let's go to Business AM. Uh, tel telcos uh, hold 203 billion era potential VAT in airtime data sms sales okay uh, lots in business there blueprint is where we go next and uh, he says police vigilantes battle bandits in niger rescue kidnapped victims 500 <coughs> rustled uh, cattle supermarket owner abducted in benue asu blames federal government states for insecurity and uh, we need god's intervention <laughs> the governor of abia state is quoted as saying that okay uh, I guess th this is uh, what will interest my guests as we get along. Now, from there, let's go to Daily Trust. Daily Trust now says uh, a crisis breaks or brews rather at ABU as council asks VC to leave. I won't go anywhere. Professor Garba is uh, quoted as saying this. Okay, that's internal issues within the Madubelo University. From there, let's go to the Nation newspaper. The Nation newspaper is. Uh, the, the last one we'll be looking at. Now, 2023 presidency notes elders give conditions. And uh, the NEF rates Buhari low on security and economy. Forum leadership uh, paper, Tiger says, uh, uh, presidency. Okay. Uh, this will also interest my guests when it comes to uh, the pitching and, and all the uh, permutation towards 2023. Okay, maybe let's start from here before we go into the security if we have uh, much time. Dr. Kayode, let me start with you on this one. 2023, uh, if you <coughs> see the Daily Times, if you see Daily Times, uh, the front page of the Daily Times was saying, it's talking about 2023, and it said, Northern elders give condition for presidential aspirants and says the North will stand together to elect only persons who meet its interests and uh, that no politician or a group of politicians uh, should assume they are entitled to any support from anywhere. I wonder what you make of this when it comes to <laughs> the, the permutations toward 2023 elections. You see, there's no doubt about it that uh, the northern states or the northern oligarchy, if you're going to look at it from that angle, people always see them as not as educated at the southern part of Nigeria. But between you and me, they understand that art of politics than any part of the, of the country. Because if you look at the trajectory of elections in Nigeria, and most especially those that becomes either the president or the head of state, you will know that it's always come from their side. Look at, look at for instance, I was reading, I was reading the, the, the coup that brought uh, retired Dera Gowon mm. in. There was somebody, which I wouldn't want to mention his name now, that was supposed to assume power then. But he was a bit jittery because he wouldn't know what the northern elders would be saying. And at the end of the day, so people came to him. Oh boy, take over now. He said, ah. Do I have people around me? Until when, when those people, the northern people, marched, uh, go on to that place. The same thing with uh, Murit Allah Muhammad. Now they are now telling you, look, you got to do our bidding before you can become the president. 
Now, look at even what he told uh, Buari last week. And then look at his reply. When we were reading that, I was now saying, ah, is it not a situation of uh, somebody biting the finger that fed him now? <laughs> now, the, the, if, if, you look, if you look around, Dr. <clears throat> let me bring you in now. The, when when we, ha we have played politics in this country since, uh, in fact, even before the 60s, mm. in the days of uh, uh, Sadona and, and Awolo and the others, politics uh, had been very, very heated, even before independence. Yeah. Yeah. And one assumes, assumes that by now we should have mastered our politics in such a way that it won't be the issue of North against South, against Southwest or against Southeast, as the case may be. Mm. It's going to be very, very difficult, um, if not practically impossible, owing to the fact that um, when um, government mm. fails, people run back to their community. They continue to project the interests of their own people because they cannot totally trust the government. Mm. If we had come to a point where everybody can say, I am sure that the government is going to do my bidding, mm. then there will not be another agenda. So this is a failure, failure of, government, of government. And they're trying and to leadership. fill that vacuum. Yes. Right. When, when, when you cannot trust your government, that government is going to do um, things that will interest your own community, mm. then you continue to put forward the interests of your own people. So once you put self uh, above society, this, these are some of the things that will continue to happen. And it didn't just that. Mm. It's because people can no longer trust their leader. Mm. That's what's happening. That's why, um, because you know what happened during the time of uh, former President Jonathan, when he was president, you get to Asso Rock and everybody is donning the Niger Delta cap mm. because they want to actually um, um, be, uh, part of it. be part of mm. the government. And immediately the man left, Niger Delta Cup disappeared from Asso Rock. <laughs> so because they know that by extension, <laughs> once my people um, are there, once my person is the president, then we continue to project the interests of our community. Mm. Unfortunately, our own, the, the larger society is not even helping matter because they continue to make you feel that you are the president of your region. Mm. They continue to suggest to you that, oh, if you do not do this thing now, if another person comes there, there's all possibility that you will not do it. And even a, a person like uh, former President Olusha Gombasinjo, who has that national mindset, mm. a lot of people in his community blame him. There was a time he had a minor accident on his way from Ibadan. Mm. And they said, oh, you could not fix the road leading <laughs> to your own community, <laughs> as if he was the president of the community. <laughs> so when you add all this up, when you add it together, it's a problem of failure of okay. leadership. Okay. No, sorry, you see, sorry. You know, it's the failure of the system mm. that has no identity. Yeah. It's to say we have a national identity. Whether you are from the north, the south or the east, it wouldn't have mattered. Mm. And nobody will be able to say, this is this, this is that. And that is why somebody like me have been clamoring that we got to define our national identity, mm. upon which every other mm -hmm. thing will spring up. Let me, let me stay with you. The, the point there is, when it comes to who becomes the president, and they, they seem to be too, too much of politicking around it. Mm. About eight states in the Federation have produced president. Yeah. Katsina State, Kano State, Sokoto State, uh, uh, Niger State, From the Plateau North. State, uh, Ogun State, and Bayelsa State. And mostly from the north. It doesn't matter. Okay. The, but the point, they will, because a lot of them happened yeah. during the coup, yeah. and then also Bauchi State, because we had yeah. the prime minister from there. But how well off are all these states because they produced the president? Uh, <clears throat> you see, it's important to what I said. Mm. National identity. Okay. If the country has gotten a kind of a philosophy. If you become the president, whether you are from the north or from the south, whether you are from PDP or ZPM or whatever, mm. this is going to be the direction for our growth and development. Then it wouldn't have mattered. But it's unfortunate. Here, here is a place that, one, the constitution is faulty, Two, even those that are supposed to even establish the constitution, they are also one way or the other. These are the things that we have seen. You understand? So to that extent, it, it, it brings it, it, it boils down to a little bit of, uh, of uh, even we citizens not be able to hold them responsible for what they are doing. Look at what, look at what is happening to Trump. Trump is claiming that, look, whatever I am doing is part of my idiosyncrasies. But as much as I am doing the bidding 
of Americans. Mm. And between you and me, they are behind him. All right. Mm. All right. Uh, Dutton, when it comes to 2023, uh, with a lot of, you know, alignment and realignment yes. and consultations going on right now, would you think it's too early for I, I, all of I, those? I totally think it's too early. But you remember the word of his philosopher, the, um, uh, who said that an average politician thinks about the next election. Mm. Uh, you understand. So when you look at that, and we've heard often in Africa, <laughs> that uh, the next election activities for the next election starts immediately after the last election. Mm -hmm. So when you consider all this and the mindset of an average politician, they may tell you it's not too early. But in reality, I am feeling we are in 2022 already. <laughs> because when I hear all these things, I begin to wonder. Mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the thing is that if we do not solve the problem of second term, mm -hmm. We continue to have developmental problem, and this is what I mean. A man gets into office, even by bleak alley, you have four, four, four years is, is enough time for you to for, for you to fix anything you want to fix. Jesus was talking to his disciples. He said, "These three years have passed through this this place, and this thing is not is, is not bringing forth any fruit." Okay. So, biblically, <laughs> even four years is enough for you to develop. But because you are thinking about the next election, you work only for two years, and you spend the entire the many two years Campaign. planning on how you want to win election. <laughs> Unfortunately, even after the second time, sir, they are also still planning for third time indirectly mm -hmm. because they want to install somebody. They want somebody to take over from them. Yeah. So, for me. I think it's just too early. All this night about should be on development, should be on the power sector, should be on the rail system, should be on our refinery right. and other critical areas. Okay. But Mark you, yeah. Mark you, election of America for this year has started since when Trump was sworn in. Uh, when they were planning to impeach yeah, him so that uh, Democrats can uh, take over uh, but, from but, the Republicans. But, but, yeah, but all you of know? those things were, were on the ground. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, we didn't not, see them not, up there. Because but they, okay, are, they are not saying... Yes, let, let's leave it here now. Dr. Dyer Kaide, thank you so much for My your pleasure. time on the show. And uh, Dr. Mo John, thank you very much as well. Thank you. Right, you're watching TVC Breakfast. We'll take a look at stories making the headlines in Nigerian newspapers. I have with me in the studio leadership and communication expert Dr. Ojon and political technocrat Dr. Dayo Kaide. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Thank you for joining us at TVC Breakfast. Good morning. I wasn't saying anything. Dr. Ojon is waiting. <laughs> All right, we wouldn't say anything. Let's, <laughs> let's head straight to the papers now. And I begin with uh, the Daily Times 2023. Northern elders give conditions for presidential aspirants. Say the North will stand together to elect only persons who meet its interests. No politician should assume they are entitled to our support unless... And to the front page of the news, direct insecurity, presidency declares Northern Elders Forum paper tigers as group attacks uh, Buhari. To the front page of the Business AM, telcos hold uh, 203 billion naira potential VAT in airtime, data, SMS sales. Experts worry about effect on universal telecoms access. On the front page of the blueprint, uh, police vigilantes uh, battle bandits in Niger, rescue kidnapped victims, 500 Russell cattle, supermarket owner abducted in Benue, Asu blames federal government, states for insecurity. We need God's intervention, Ikpazo. To the front page of the Daily Trust now, crisis brews at uh, ABU as council asks VC to leave. I won't go anywhere, Prof. Garba. And finally, on the front page of the Nation newspaper, 2023 president, 2023 president, North elders give conditions. Uh, NEF uh, rates Buhari low on security economy. Forum leadership, a paper tiger, says presidency. All right, so we'll be looking at uh, the story on the front page of uh, the News Direct, uh, talking in security, and also on the front page of the Blueprint this morning, also talking in security. And uh, from the front page of the News Direct, uh, the presidency reacting to the Northern Elders Forum, who seemingly are not satisfied with the president's approach to tackling insecurity. They've been calling for an overhaul of the security apparatus, and, and the presidency is reacting, saying that... Uh, they are paper tigers uh, because the group was, uh, you know, 
trying to voice out its mind. But when you talk about the issues of overhauling uh, the security apparatus, uh, we saw that the Senate was speaking about this at some point. And then after the meeting, the Senate seemed to begin to say something else, saying that uh, their focus now is more on uh, the, the welfare of, of security operatives. But basically, when you look at the security apparatus, is that where the challenge lies when you look at the way we are tackling insecurity. I'll start with you, Dr. Coyote. The National Assembly, too, is a paper tiger. Ah, ah. Paper moteku. <laughs> paper moteku. <laughs> <laughs> because, I, I, you see, I cannot imagine all these things happening in a country that is having a constitution. If the whole National Assembly can agree on one thing, and the old nation is also saying the same thing, and a single person is saying no, then what does the constitution say? How do you mean? The same thing you are thinking is what I'm thinking. Are you in my thoughts? <laughs> because the constitution is there for us to follow. Mm. That's what we call separation of power, and that's what we call checks and balances. Absolutely. Why do we have national assembly? Who is supposed to be a check on the executive? But they have come out to say that and perhaps that's not the issue now. And, and why, why, why? I mean, they all debated on this issue. And together they form a committee to go and have a easy breakfast or dinner meeting with the president. This is what is happening in the country. Asu Tu is saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. All unions, they are saying the same thing and a singular person is saying no. Then, I'm, I'm putting it straight to National Assembly this morning. What does the Constitution say as regards that? Mm. Because you have, you have the whole constitutional backing. To do what exactly? To do what you are supposed to do. Mm. To In Yoruba, the they will say, Aborola, so formally, I will tell you, I do dindi. Translation. That is to say, please help me out. <laughs> it's not about techo now. Do you understand? But I'm waiting for a day. Now Asu is talking. As you got insecurity. Because I've been wondering where Asu Abyss is all these days. Because when we I was see growing the attacks up, on schools as when well. I, when when oh. I was growing up, whenever Asu sneezes, the government will catch cold. But now it's another thing. I'm waiting for Asu. The day they will go and stand in front of Asu Rock. I said, not until when you tackle this security issue, we're not living here. I'm also waiting for Baba Adeboye. I'm waiting for... He took, he took a walk recently. No, I'm waiting for Baba Adeboye. I'm waiting for Bishop Okonkwo. I'm waiting for Bishop uh, uh, Oyedepo. I'm waiting for uh, Pastor Olukoya to join hands together and stay in front of Asorok and mm. say, enough is enough about this insecurity. Not until then. Then we will not get nowhere. Uh, Dotton, is that what it is? <coughs> Let's get your perspective to this issue now. The, the issue of security, in all honesty, is a very serious issue. Absolutely. And um, it's quite unfortunate that uh, um, the government seems not to have the character to tolerate um, people who are actually hammering on the need for better security. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons why, if I don't want criticism, Veronica, I will stay in my, in my community. The day you decide that you want to lead the people, the day you decide that you want to do something differently, the day you decide that you want to embark on a cause and cause change to happen to humanity, you have signed up for criticism. So if somebody is coming out to tell you, no matter where they belong, the political party is irrelevant, mm -hmm. to tell you that this thing at this point in time needs to be looked into, and you are coming out, you are releasing press release that your children will read, and calling them um, paper, paper tigers. tigers, these are some of the things that are unnecessary. We elect our leader to build a nation, not to divide one. And all we've got as a people is this Nigeria. Now, the issue of insecurity, because when you go to the West, you hear that a, a, um, um, what they call, there's a gun raid in a school, they kill mm -hmm. a lot of people. But when you get to the embassy, you see that your people kill every day to get visa to travel to these places. It tells you that the issue of security is not in the absence of crime but the response of the community to crime. To crime. Mm. 
if we have bandits operating in a community for as long as I cannot tell. And the government is not responding to it until they have grown and they have become a government of their own. If the issue of Boko Haram that we have tactically defeated between 2015 and 2016 is crawling back to our community, seizing communities, if I cannot travel from Abuja to Kaduna safely, safely a road. within a period of two hours, then I, I doubt whether it's going to be wrong for me to confront the government and tell the government frontally that you are failing in your responsibility. You see, this is the co concept of government that we have confused over time. Mm. The concept of government is the concept of God. In fact, government is the representative of God on earth. Mm. And the concept of God is doing for the people what they cannot do for themselves. Definitely. And the concept of government by extension is to do for the people what they cannot do for themselves. Immediately you fail. The people cannot secure themselves. You are leading a people of 200 million and to travel from one community to the other has become difficult. I think it's something that we must continue to talk about. The welfare of military is what people like us have talked about because we have seen it over, over the years. But if there's the need to change anybody to bring in energy, to bring in innovation, to it, bring in capacity. It, it, because this is not even the first time there, ha there has been calls for a change of security apparatus. It has been on for some time now. I'm even but is it a challenge? See, listen to me. Even changing the security apparatus does not change the anything. Do you? It's not the issue. It is, it is the mindset of who is leading as we are here now. If you don't ask me to shut up, I won't shut up. I will keep on talking. Mm. But because somebody is also controlling you somewhere, that it is time. So you also will tell us it is time. But if you refuse to tell us it is time, we keep on, we keep on sitting down here. But because the president is not showing that body language, that I want this thing to stop. If he had wanted this thing to stop, he would have listened to his legislators. If you have wanted this thing to stop, you will have listened to the labor unions. If you have wanted this thing to stop, you will have listened to the people that elected him. If you have wanted this thing to stop, you will have even listened to the session of the country it belongs to, which is the northern elders, rather than even abusing them, that they are paper, paper tigers. tigers. You know the meaning of paper tigers? No, let's even assume that. Let's even it's a philosophy. That. It's his philosophy. Let's, let's even agree right. that there's no absolute human person who knows everything. Definitely. You understand? That is the essence of people putting together people who can actually help you make to policies achieve that a will purpose. affect people. Yeah. Jesus Christ was sitting one day trying to teach us um, an example of what, how leadership should be. And he called the disciples and asked them, what do people think or what do and they say, say I, I am? am. Mm. And they began to give him answers. It shows that the people you surround yourself with actually matter. Mm -hmm. They are the ones that will give you the opinion of the community. A true picture. But once they call out the opinion of the community, you think you are in charge when you are not in charge. The reality of what we have now is that if the president, because of anything, is, is because of age, because of the fact that Nigeria is a very complex place to govern, if it is clear that some of these things are, are heavy on him, there's the need to bring in new blood who will be able to give direction to the government without politicking, without politics. Mm. The people that will not, because they, 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 they seemingly, um, over time you have seen that there's a power somewhere in Nasrallah that is afraid of some people. It's not about this government. And they, they may call them any name. They may call them Kabar. To, may, maybe you bring in people that the Kabars will not be afraid of. Who will be able to tell you the reality of what is happening in your community? That's why people are saying you should change the service chief. Not about them. Nobody has issues with them. But they are thinking that, okay, if there are people who can actually look at the president in the eye and say, this is it. Something happened to me in 2006 that quickly. I will never forget quickly. As you said, I went to a political campaign. I was sent into a political campaign by a sitting governor of a state. And after observing the political campaign, I went back to him. I saw him in, the, in late evening, around 10 p.m. And I said, sir, he was asking me, he said, Don, how did the campaign go? Of course, it is a campaign of the opposition. And I said, sir, with what I saw there, you can't win election, no. And the governor continues changed, like really, 
And when I got out of there, my friend told me that you shouldn't have pay, said that. Pay you your balance. Yeah, no, because, no, he didn't even <laughs> give me money. That you shouldn't have said that. That I am the only person that I told him the truth, and it's not used to the truth. Mm. Let's bring in people that will tell us this. And truth. so they are telling Just him what they knew. He wants to oh, hear. He wants ah. to hear. That's exactly what is happening. So even if we right. change them, is we still bring in people that will tell him what he wants to hear. All right. Gentlemen. So it's beyond changing. It's a, it's beyond it's changing. It's about self. All right. Mindset. Mm. All right. A lot obviously needs to be done with regards to insecurity here. Thank you, gentlemen, for your contribution on this uh, topic this morning. Let's uh, head into the papers and see what uh, the uh, headlines are this morning. And I have with me in the studio Dr. John as well as Dr. Dio Coyote uh, to give us uh, insight into some of the headlines. It's nice to see you both. Yeah. Yes, uh, Mike, you see that issue in our petroleum industry yes. is the height of insipidness. Whoa. Yes, because yes, because <laughs> we are not we are not visionary at all. all right. We should be able to know effects of a single person mm. controlling a particular sector no, of the economy. But, but, no, but why, why is, is, why, is that the same thing no, that is happening Dr. in Angola? Kyle, why do we see it as one person controlling? It, it, this is this but is an entity. Is, but the issue no, 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 is the, the, what is happening to our own refineries? Yeah, the but, four but refineries. It, it's a company because we don't have problems with the multinationals coming into Nigeria to, you know, to run the industry. There are just about three, four, five, not up to ten multinationals. This so if we have one, co one Nigerian-owned company, yeah. you know, making contribution, why I, do we see I, as I'm one not, person I'm controlling? Not, I'm not having a problem. We want okay. individual doing it. Okay. But then what are we doing as a people okay. to ensure all that right. all those four refineries are working? Yeah, Let, let's, let's see what the papers are. Maybe we'll have time to dwell on this. <laughs> <laughs> Daily Times is where we start from. Oni is focusing on 2023, and he says uh, Northern elders give conditions for presidential aspirants say the North will stand together to elect only persons who meet its interests. No politicians should assume they are entitled to our support unless it's still conditional there. All right, from there, let's go to the News Direct. News Direct is focusing on insecurity, and he says presidency declares Northern Elders Forum uh, Paper Tigers as group attacks Buhari. Okay, from there, let's go to uh, News AM. And he's saying, uh, the business AM rather, he says that uh, telcos hold 203 billion naira potential VAT in airtime data SMS sales. Okay, I guess this will interest my guests this morning to talk about this. The blueprint is next. Blueprint says uh, police vigilantes battle bandits in Niger, rescue kidnapped victims, 500 rustled cows, and supermarket owner abducted in Benue State. And Asu blames federal government, states for insecurity. Uh, we need God's intervention. Okay, that's what uh, that's is credited to the governor of Abia State uh, there. Okay, from there, let's go to Daily Trust. Daily Trust says crisis brews at ABU as council asks VC to leave. I won't go anywhere, Professor Garba, the vice chancellor of the Medubelo University is saying this all right let's move there from there to the nation newspaper and he's focusing on uh, 2023 presidency he said notes elders give conditions and nef rates buhari law on security and economy and forum leadership a paper tiger says uh, presidency okay still political back and forth there all right uh gentlemen if you see the the, the headline on the business am he says telcos hold 203 billion naira potential VAT in airtime data SMS sales. And experts worry about effect on universal tel uh, telecoms access. Okay, it means there's so much money waiting there somewhere, just hanging there to be gotten. And uh, it, it tells how robust the telecom industry is. Uh, Dr. Kaidi, I wonder what you make of this. I, let me even first of all start with uh, what we use, what we were experiencing at the early stages of uh, these uh, GSM telcos and all that. Mm. You remember that in those days we were buying SIM card mm. for as much, uh, I mean, as low as thirty-five thousand. <laughs> mm. As and low now, as, yeah. and now is selling mm. for free on the road. Okay. Two. You remember MTN then when you want to load MTN. Star 555, five, five, star 1, star. And that one is no more there again. Okay. So what has happened to all those money? That is to tell you that somewhere along the line, where there have been some kind of 
insincerity. Why would you I'm say that? I'm coming. So that they will know that we are watching. This one that they are talking, uh, how much? Two point whatever billion that we expect potential uh, VAT. Uh, earnings mm -hmm. from VAT. We are not even accepting this figure just like that. Now, government should go and first of all look at it. When it was 5%, how much earnings have we been but, having? But, but the NCC has been, Dr. Kayo, the NCC has been regulating that. The NCC has now. not raised any wait, alarm wait as to now. their infraction when it comes to uh, how much revenue they are remitting to it, the government. Is the NCC, don't we know the character of the government we are having in Nigeria? Are you saying you don't trust NCC to do its job? Maybe you are, maybe you are interpreting it to be like that. But let me now tell you this. We want to know how much have been coming to government before now, then how many people have joined the use of this thing. Now, the incremental rate, we now want to use it to calculate how much you come. Because Nigerians and I, are now more... And, I, and more I feel it is from there that these figures have been arrived at. Because when it comes to the number of... Uh, 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 those who, who have internet services on one hand, those who are using phones on the My other brother, hand. My brother, I have refused to be agree with them because I did the research okay. on how much our petroleum should be selling. Hmm. Do you understand? It is at par, wide par. With what, with you, what with is the records. On, is, <coughs> but petroleum, is on ground now. Petroleum is on, is, is on one hand. Mm. Telecom mm, is, it's on, the is same, on another. It's the same thing. No, it's, it's not the, the same, same thing. It's <laughs> the same way they have been cheating with, uh, with people. All right. Uh, the, the point so is... So we have to do our calculations what, yes. ourselves. Do what, our what, research what, ourselves. Yeah. Dr. Kayode, what you're saying is a metaphor for all Nigerians mm. as to how, how Nigerians feel about this. And so we understand from that uh, point of view. Now, Dr. if you have been following, yes. a lot of people have been employed directly or indirectly no. under uh, the telecoms industry generally. And with this VAT now, it means more money one way or the other, more mm. people on board. What do you yeah. mean? Uh, uh, after making your call, I don't know lately whether it has happened to you. When you end your call, they give you um, the amount of money used, including VAT. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's um, one of those things. And um, if you look at the communication sector, it's a very huge one. Mm. In November 2014, Nigerians altogether, we spent over 400 billion naira mm. in one month mm. to make call, to send messages, mm. to recharge our phone, to buy data and all that. If you see that kind of sector, the government should be excited. Not excited that the players in the sector are cheating the people, but excited that they must have their own um, court, their own part of mm. what the, the companies chunk. are mm. getting, so that they can, in turn, translate it to development for the enjoyment of the people. As we speak now, I don't know whether the figure is part of the, fig um, the one. Telcos are owing government about 200 billion. Era. I'm not sure it's part of that uh, amount of money that you that's supposed to be the, the remittance they are supposed to make to NIDA. When they declare they are from 2007 that the NIDA Act took effect, mm. when they declare their profit every year, they're supposed to have a percentage that they will pay to NIDA, National um, Information Technology Development Agency, mm. for infrastructural development mm. of the sector. Mm. But since 2007, no, nobody has paid the COBO. In fact, about a month ago, the House of Reps raised the issue mm. that they were going to invite EFCC into it. What are we saying? We need to establish the we fact to that, that. Mm. we need to establish <laughs> the fact that one, that's a huge market. Oh. We need to establish the fact that just like the power sector, they have not been performing efficiently well. We also need to establish the fact that government must open its eyes to the book of the player, so that at the end of the day, even when they cheat your citizen, mm -hmm. you are still taking back part of the money to develop your okay. citizen. All right. So these the, are some the, of the, the Dr. Kayode, a lot of persons have been in support of uh, the, the telcos, you know, uh, 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 listing in the, in the stock exchange so that people can become part of the system. Now, I, I think about two of them have uh, enlisted now. Yeah, like How, MTN yeah what, what, do you, what do you make of that business from that window? Yes, there's no doubt about it that uh, they're supposed to be in the stock market so that Nigerians can also partake in, uh, in the profit sharing. Because if you also look, because if you look at some of these uh, telcos, they are not Nigerian companies. For instance, MTN. 
at the end of the day, they will still cut their own uh, profit back to the own country. So by going to stock market, one, it improves activities within the market. Inclusiveness. Two, yes. yes. Two, it brings in Nigerians into sharing part of the profit. And when you share part of the profit, that is good livelihood to those people that are there. And then you cannot, even, even the multiplier effect of it, it's huge. Okay. Do you understand? So by asking them to come to, to, to the stock market is good. All others should even be forced to, to, to go to that. To uh, list uh, at the Yeah, to, uh, to get enlisted market. within okay. the market. All it's, right. it's a good thing for our economy. Let, let's look forward to uh, greater days ahead because Telcom has been seen as a company that uh, activates and triggers economic activity mm -hmm. amongst the people, oh, no yes. matter how high or matter how low. But Thank then, you very but much. Then the, the, the government should, be, should open their eyes yes. and look at their you can, books properly. You, you okay. can help them look properly. Uh, you you know, look at all dreams. So now. Please, <laughs> please keep looking. Keep looking. <laughs> so keep looking. And so that, ensure, uh, ensure compliance. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Dara <laughs> Kaede, for coming on the program. Dr. John, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right.